everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Hello, Emma. So happy for you that it's finally summer. Yeah, me too, Auntie. Well, I mean, I was. What's wrong, Emma? Well, I was so excited that it was summer that the first thing I did was throw on my floaty vest right over my school clothes and I jumped right into my pool and I went swimming. I was in there for so long that my hands were shriveled up. It was so great. But then the next day, I noticed my ears started hurting. Oh no, Emma. Yeah, Auntie, and it's hurting right now. It feels like my ear is on fire. Well, Emma, it sounds like you might have swimmer's ear, or in doctor's terms, we call it otitis externa. Otitis is the word that we use for swollen ear, and externa is because it happens to be on the external or outer part of your ear. Well, it sure doesn't feel like it's on the outside of my ear, Auntie. It feels like fire's inside my ear. Oh my goodness, it just, it just hurts so bad. <sighs> yes, Emma, swimmer's ear can be really painful, but to understand why it's so painful, we first have to take a closer look at what's going on in the ear. All right, Auntie, let's learn about the ear. You got it, Emma. Okay, your outer ear is made up of a long canal. This canal is a long highway for sounds to travel, which they travel down, down, down your ear, and then they come to a crashing stop when they hit this thing called, drum roll please, an eardrum, or also called tympanic membrane. Good one, Auntie. All right, well, this little flap or eardrum is very important. Sounds that travel from the canal run into the eardrum, which causes the bones attached to the drum to make something called vibrations, which help us hear. Also, this little eardrum is so important because it serves as a big shield to protect things from going inside our inner ear. Once that sound hits the bones behind the eardrum, the sounds go into the inner ear and are taken up by nerves that bring the sounds all the way up to our brain, where that sound is then turned into something that we hear. Wow, Auntie, our ear sure is amazing. Yes, it is, Emma. Okay, so back to your swimmer's ear. So that canal where sound travels when you're in the pool or under any water for a long period of time, that makes that canal really soft. Think about when your hands get shriveled up when you're in the bathtub for a long time. Well, the skin inside our ear canal gets soft and shrivelly, which is the perfect place for bad guys called bacteria to come into play. These bacteria say, yes, this ear canal is nice and soft perfect place for me to come in and start a huge jumping on the bed dance party. Once inside the canal, the bacteria start to go crazy and invite all their friends and grow more and more and more bacteria and pretty soon there are thousands of bacteria jumping up and down inside our ear canal. Think about it by yourself when you jump on your bed, you could jump pretty high without any problems. But what about you and your mom and your dad and your grandma and your cousins and your friends and everyone you know is jumping on the bed all at the same time? Well, Auntie, the bed would break. Exactly, Emma. Think about all those bacteria jumping around in your ear canal. It starts to make the canal weaker and weaker. But don't worry. Once your body sees what is happening, it sends our good old immune system into gear. Get those bacteria, the body yells, and goes into battle before the bed of your ear canal can break. 
Then, all within your canal, there is a fight going on, which we call an infection, which is what makes your ear so painful. Wow, Auntie, this is all happening inside my little ear? Yes, Emma. Okay, so how do I get all those bacteria to stop jumping up and down in my ear? Mom always said it's not good to jump on the bed. Those bacteria need a time out. Well, they need more than just a time out, Emma. We're going to get rid of them. We will use medication that kills bacteria, which is called an antibiotic. Oh no, Auntie, I hate taking medicine. Well, you're in luck, Emma, because this medication is a drop that goes in your ear. You don't have to drink anything, well, this time. Scary, Auntie, eardrops? Do, do they hurt? Nope, they just feel a little cold inside your ear, like if you were to get a drop of water on your arm. Easy peasy. Yay! And then usually in about one week, your ear will be as good as new. Great, Auntie. So then I can go swimming again? Yes, Emma. Once your ear feels better, absolutely. So how do I make sure I don't get this horrible pain again, Auntie? Do I have to stop swimming forever or, or cover up my ears? No, Emma. Most of the time, there's nothing you need to do. Your ear is actually pretty good at protecting itself, especially when you keep your body nice and healthy and strong by eating healthy and exercising. I know, Auntie, more fruits and veggies, right? Yes, Emma. Now, there are some people that get a lot of these infections when they swim, and for them, we usually recommend that they don't swim for more than one hour to keep those ear canals from getting too soft. But for most people, there's nothing we really need to do. Got it, Auntie. All right, Emma. Shall we look in your ear and see what's going on? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let me see here. So I'm gonna use something called an otoscope. Ooh, an otoscope? Yes. Okay, let me get it from the wall here. Yep, it looks pretty red in there. Yeah, Auntie, that really hurts. Okay, all right, put that down. Let me get some drops. All right, you ready then? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so it's gonna be a little cold. Deep, deep. Oh, yep, that didn't hurt at all, Auntie. See, I told you. All right, let me put these down. Okay, very good, great job. You did so great, Emma. Why, thank you. 1,000 little bacteria jumping on the bed. So mommy called the doctor and the doctor said, here are some drops for your head. Now no more bacteria jumping on the bed. <laughs> very funny, Miss Emma. All right, I'm glad you're already starting to feel better. Yay. All right, let's go outside and have some fun. everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah, we can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button please!